Hello guys, this is Miss David Frost reporting in again, and it certainly has been a month ever since I did my last uh, video on this channel, which was about Movie Clock and the movies that came out last month, which was November 2013. So I also want to apologize for my voice being too loud. Hopefully this doesn't have this video doesn't have the same problem. If it does, I'll have to probably do something about that, and I don't know how. But anyways, this is the movies. This is a list of movies that are coming out this month, December 2013. So first off, I want to notify that the Doctor Who 50th Anniversary came out to theaters, um, on Monday, December 2nd, and uh, that was the only showing of the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who. And then, this movie came out yesterday, Out of the Furnace. It is rated R, and it stars Christian Bale and Casey Affleck, and is directed by Scott Cooper. I don't know what the time span was of it. Here's the poster. Well, once again, I gotta make changes to it so you're able to see it. Oh, that's still not good. Work with me. I'm. I'm a. Uh, practicing of sorts that's a lot better <laughs> there's a mirror reflection off my phone of the computer screen but yeah that's Christian Bale there and it also stars Willem Dafoe Zoe Saldana Forrest Whitaker and two other actors actresses that I cannot read the name of so bear with me for a moment and And here we go. We have the movie called Hours. And that has uh, Paul Walker. I don't know what the thing is about Genesis Rodriguez, but it apparently comes out December 13th. Here is the poster. I'll bring it over here so reflection doesn't bother it too much bring it a little closer and I'm sure you get the idea from there and the details it is rated PG-13 and oh it stars Paul Walker and Genesis Rodriguez or however you say the word Genesis Sorry, I don't know my Spanish all that well. And, uh, it is directed by Eric Heiser. I don't know how to pronounce that last name correctly. It is, the time span is 96 minutes, and here is the synopsis. Before sunrise on August 29, 2005, Nolan Hayes. Paul Walker arrives at a New Orleans hospital with his pregnant wife, Abigail Genesis Rodriguez, who has gone into early labor. What should be one of the happiest days of Nolan's life quickly spirals out of control when the birth goes tragically wrong and Hurricane Katrina ravages 
the hospital, forcing an evacuation, told to stay with his child who was on a ventilator, and the weight transferred by ambulance. Nolan and his newborn are soon cut off from the world by power outages and rising flood waters. When no one returns to help, no one faces no one faces one life and death decision after another, fighting to keep his daughter alive as minute by agonizing minute passes, becoming unimaginable hours. Ergo the title of the movie. So that comes out November 13th, as well as this movie, Saving Mr. Banks, which stars Emma Thompson, Tom Hanks, Paul Giamatti, Jason Schwartzman, and Colin Farrell. Here is the trailer. I mean, the movie poster. Now, as you can tell, that is... Those two people there are Tom Hanks and Emma Thompson. Tom Hanks is playing Walt Disney, ergo his shadow being Mickey Mouse, and then Emma Thompson being the story creator or some person relatable to Mary Poppins, ergo the shadow being Mary Poppins. And I would continue on talking about what I know about the movie, but that would just be spoiling the entire story of the movie. It is rated PG-13. It is directed by John Lee Hancock, and the time length is 125 minutes. The synopsis is two-time Academy Award winner Emma Thompson and fellow double Oscar winner Tom Hanks, top line, Disney's Saving Mr. Banks, inspired by the extraordinary untold backstory of how Disney's classic Mary Poppins made it to the screen. When Walt Disney's daughter begged him to make a movie of their favorite book, P.L. Travers' Mary Poppins, he made them a promise one that he didn't realize would take 20 years to keep. In his quest to obtain the rights, Walt comes up against a curmudge only uncompromising writer who has absolutely no intention of letting her beloved mag magical nanny get mauled by the Hollywood machine. But as the book Stop selling a money grow short. Travers reluctantly agrees to go to Los Angeles to hear Disney's plans for the adaption. For those who, for those two short weeks, short weeks in 1961, Walt Disney pulls out all the stops, armed with imaginative imaginative storyboards and chirpy songs from the talented Sherman Brothers Walt launches an all-out onslaught on P.L. Travers, but the prickly author doesn't budge. He soon begins to watch helplessly as Travers becomes increasingly immovable and the rights begin to move, move further away from his grasp. It is only when he reaches into his own childhood that that Walt <coughs> excuse me be, discovers the truth about the ghosts that haunt her and together they set Mary Poppins free to ultimately make one of the most endearing films in cinematic cinematic history. Inspired by true events, Saving Mr. Banks is the extraordinary untold story of how Disney's 
classic Mary Poppins made it to the screen. And the testly, testy relationship that the legendary Walt Disney had with author P.L. Travers that almost derailed, derailed it. So that is Saving Mr. Binks, and next, which also comes out December 13th, is, <coughs> excuse me, is The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog. Here is the poster. I know you can't see that. Well, and it's not appearing any better when I bring it closer to the screen. Is it's just the Hobbit in front of a giant place or structure, building, whatever you want to call it. That is also rated PG-13. It stars Martin Freeman and Ian McKellen. Director is Peter Jackson, and the time length is 126 minutes. The synopsis is the second in a trilogy of films adapting by endearingly popular masterpiece The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog, continues the adventures of the title character Bilbo Baggins, Martin Freeman, as he journeys with the wizard Gandalf, Ian McKellen, or Ian McKellen, however you want to pronounce that, and 13 dwarves led by Thorn Oakenshield, or Richard Armitage, on an epic quest to reclaim the lost dwarf kingdom of Erebor. So that is the Hobbit sequel. Next we have the another sequel and this comes out December 18th. And the movie is Anchorman, The Legend Continues. Here is the poster. Sorry, it takes a little bit for me to get it right. And obviously you can't see it that well. I'm just trying to make it work as good as as the best I can. It stars Will Ferrell and Paul Rudd as well as Steve Carroll and yeah I'm not gonna I just mention his name I don't know who he is. It is directed by Adam McKay the time length is not available at this time and here is the synopsis. With the 70s behind him, San Diego's top-rated newsman, Ron Burgundy, Will Ferrell, returns to the news desk in Anchorman The Legend Continues. Also back for more are Ron's co-anchor and wife, Veronica Coringston, Stone, Christina Applegate, Weatherman Brick Tamland, Steve Carroll, Man on the Street, Brian Fantana, Paul Rudd, and Sports Guy Champ Kind, David Kushner, all of whom won't make it easy to stay classy while taking New York's first 24-hour news channel by storm. So that is the Anchorman sequel. Next is a bit of an adventure. Um, funny, I thought it was uh, Disney who made this 
film, but it doesn't appear to be. Anyways, this is called Walking with the Dinosaurs. And it comes out December 20th. And is released in real D 3D. It's a bit of a 3D adventure, like you're actually in the dinosaur realm of Earth. It stars Charlie Rowe and Angori Rice. The directors are Barry Cook and Neil Nightingale. The time length is not available at this time. The synopsis is, for the first time in movie history, audiences will truly see and feel what is, what it was like when dinosaurs ruled the earth. Working with dinosaurs is the ultimate immersive experience utilizing state of the art 3D to put audiences in the middle of a thrilling and epic prehistoric world where an underdog dino triumphs to become a hero for the ages. That is Walking with Dinosaurs. Wow. There are a lot of movies coming out Christmas Day. Okay, next is this movie is called August Osage County. Here is the poster. You can tell it's just a house with the roof tilted open. And it stars Meryl Streep, Julia Roberts, Ellen McGregor, Chris Cooper, Abigail Breslin, Benedict Cumberbatch, Juliette Lewis, Margot Martindale, Dermot Moore. Ronnie, Julian Nicholson, Sam Shepard, and Misty Upham. That is the first movie on this list that comes up Christmas Day. It start well, I already went through the actors and actresses. The time length is 130 minutes. The director is John Wells, and here is the synopsis. A look at the lives of the strong-willed women of the West Don family, whose paths have diverged until a family crisis brings them back to the Oklahoma house where they that they grew up in, and to the dysfunctional woman woman who raised them. The second Christmas Day movie is Grudge Match, starring Kevin Hart, Alan Arkin, Kim Basinger, the singer, and John Berth Bernthal. Here's the poster. I can't bring in too close because it be too big. And obviously it also stars Robert De Niro and Sylvester Stallone. It is rated PG-13 and is, it is directed by Peter Segal and the time length is not available at this time. A lot of movies are going to do that when it's not close enough of the release date of the movie for it to say what is the time length. 
of the specific film. Here's the synopsis. A pair of aging boxing rivals are coaxed out of retirement to fight one final bout, 50 years after the last match. The next film is 47 Ronin. Also comes out Christmas Day and it stars Keanu Reeves. There is the poster. Sorry for all the barking next door. And it also stars Hiroyuki Sanada. It is directed by Carl Rins Rin Rinscha. Sorry if I mispronounced that last name. It's just hard to read for my type of person, that is. And the synopsis is an 18th century set story centered on a band of samurai samurai who set out to avenge the death of their master. The next Christmas Day film is The Wolf on Wall Street of Wall Street. And it stars Leonardo DiCaprio. It also comes out comes out Christmas Day if I did not say or say so already. And there is the poster. And it also stars Jonah Hill. It is directed by Martin Scorsese. Scorsese. Time length is not available. And the synopsis is based on the true story of Jordan Belfort from his rise to a wealthy stockbroker living the high life to his small to his fall involving crime, corruption and the federal government. Next Christmas Day film is The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Stars Ben Stiller and Kristen Wiig. And here is the poster. Oh. Well, I seem to have been wrong because they now have a rating and time length on this film, unlike the others. It is directed by Ben Stiller, as well as him acting in it. It is rated PG, and the time length is 114 minutes. Synopsis. Ben Stiller directs and stars in The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Mitty. An all-audience all feel-good adventure that celebrates the true potential in everyone. Walter Mitty and Walter an ordinary guy lives out his fantasies in highly comedic and outrageous daydreams. When fate intervenes, Walter decides to jump into life and heads out on a global journey that turns his life into an adventure that turns his real life into an adventure more extraordinary than that than he could ever have imagined. And the last movie that comes out Christmas Day is American Hustle, a David O. Russell film. And it stars Jennifer Lawrence, the girl from, uh, what is it? Hunger Games. I've just recently seen that, so I would know. And here is 
the poster. And it also stars Amy Adams as well, and Christian Bale. Time length is not yet available. Here's the synopsis. A fictional film set in the alluring world of one of the most stunning scandals to rock the states. American Hustle, Hustle, however that you rather pronounce that, tells the story of brilliant con man Irving Rosenfeld, Christian Bale, who, along with his equally cunning and seductive British partner Sidney Prosser, Amy Adams, is forced to work for a wild FBI agent, Richie DeMazo, or Bradley Cooper. Mazo pushes them into a world of Jersey power brokers and mafia that that's an as dangerous as it is enchanting. Jeremy Renner is Carmine Polito, a passionate volatile New Jersey political operator caught between the con artists and Fed. Irving's unpredictable with Rosaline or Jennifer Lawrence could be the one who to pull the thread that brings the entire world crashing down. Like David O. Russell's previous films, American Hustle defies genre hinging on Rhyme's emotion and life and death stakes. So, that being said, those are all the movies of this month of December 2013. I thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to this channel for more movie clock related uh, films that are to be coming out. And also, please subscribe if you're interested in Transformers and Lego, some Marvel, some Doctor Who, Movie Clock, and some other stuff that I'm interested in. If you're interested in any of that, subscribe to this channel. If you're interested in vlogging and other Transformers, Lego, and so on related stuff, subscribe to my first channel, Mr. Defrost 2. Now, I have a bit of a test. If you guys could please get me noticed here on YouTube, as I'm unaware of how to do it myself, if I get 100 subscribers by the end of next year, I will bring to your attention the release date of future movies that are not even within the time span of next year or so. Like, say if you're interested in Star Trek, Star Wars, Transformers, other fan favorite films or themes, I will give you a little special surprise exposing uh, the upcoming movies because there are definite surprises in movies that would surprise you and shock you that oh they're making another film or they're making a movie out of this if you could please share me my channel with your friends Get me noticed. Um, that would be great if if I get a hundred subscribers by the end of next year. I will bring those surprise movies to your attention. Um, by that time, if I only get a hundred subscribers, 
I don't know how else to put that. But anyways, I thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, like, share. Anything else you want to do to this, to this channel. And I will see you next time. Have a great day.